Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Virtue. I'm a third year, soon to be fourth year, civil engineering student at the University of Southampton. Um, this is my YouTube channel. I post random vlogs, civil engineering content mainly, and anything that pops into my mind. Um, today's video is gonna be like, uh, where have I been? What have I been doing? And oh, my results. So, where have I been? Third year. And third year was so damn intense. Like, I feel like I didn't even... Semester one of third year, I did not have time to breathe. Yeah, alone try to film videos. I, I got a couple videos out, but then I just lost track. So, wait, what do I... Oh, so third year was actually really interesting. Third year semester one, I had geotechnical engineering, structural engineering. I had human factors and... Uh, I think that's it. And then in the second semester, I had design three and railway. And then obviously I had my individual project, which continued throughout the whole first and second semester. A semester split up into two 15 week um, semesters, by the way. So then that was what had been happening. And currently now I've started my engineering internship at the company I was in last year. I put videos up there and you can see them. And it's really fun. This one's so different than what I thought. Like last year I was on site and then this year I'm in the office. It's more of a design and build type, um, type placement instead of like being on site on term maintenance. Anyways, I'm gonna have a whole video about placement and the vlogs and all of that. This video is all about my results. So I averaged like a 73 point something, 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 something in third year. And I'm, I'm happy. I have like, I filmed a live reaction. I was going to put it up. I might, if I do, it would go here. But if I don't, it's because... Okay, I'm going to be real. Like, I'm this close to like crying, but I don't want to cry because like, I'm on... I'm, oh, I just asked to take a, a, break, a break real quick so I can see my results. But like... Oh, so basically, for one of our modules, design three. When I tell you, I put everything into that module, like everything for, for two weeks straight that's all i was thinking about and they gave us feedback and our feedback was basically you, he basically said you did everything everything was perfect like there's not there's not one thing you've missed but how can you have a feedback like that and then give us a 68 i know 68 is amazing because like design last year but i didn't even get like i was nowhere close to first in design but like it's the fact that that our feedback made it seem like I, we got like a way above a first or like if that's the feedback for 68 i want to know what like a first is this is oh Goodness. Oh. No, I'm not even angry about my, like, I'm not even angry about my results. It's just the fact that, like, like, oh, I know people would be happy with, it, like, a 68, but, like, I know I should have a first. <laughs> Design is the most rigged module I have ever taken for the past three years. There's no algorithm, there's no mark scheme to how they predict design grades. I swear it is just like random. Here. But if I don't, it's because like, I don't know, I was so shocked because I this one, I completely did not see it coming. I know I still got a first, but I thought I was gonna have a high average. I know like, cause I really wanted a high average. I thought I patterned certain modules, especially in second semester. And the feedback I got, bro. Okay, so in second semester, I did design three and design three runs, like the, the design module runs from first, second, third and fourth year. It's a continuous thing in Southampton. I don't know why they're obsessed with group design projects. Anyways, and I always find design projects really hard. Not like, it's, it's just a difficult module regardless of what you get set because you're dealing with new people It's a group project and depending on how your group is, depends on how efficiently your, your the, the work would flow. Anyways, so this year I think I did extremely well. Like I just like oh I just really enjoyed it. It was like a design. It was a design project about a bridge, and you had to come up with the whole concept. You had a you had the clients like Southampton City Council. We had a principal engineer as a supervisor, and I really like that. I really like that module. And then we had amazing feedback, like insane feedback from the our supervisor saying you basically covered it all. This is perfect. There's not much you can do. Blah blah blah. I was saying yeah yeah. In my head I was thinking calm, high sevens, high seventies, eighties maybe. He gave me a sixty eight. A sixty eight isn't bad. I would have been so happy with a sixty eight last year or any other year in design. But when I put every effort and seen that feedback, the feedback came out three days before the results. So after seeing that feedback and him praising us and saying, oh yeah, you should really try to like. Um, you should really consider consultancy or like even bridge engineer. I'm thinking, mad, it must be a sick result. Anyways, that's a whole different little deal. But I got 73, I'm really happy. I wanted it to be higher so that fourth year I can have like, fourth year wouldn't be so intense, but I still need to like maintain this first because I'm trying to graduate with the first. Um, yeah, so now in fourth year, I feel so old. I can't believe I saw this channel when I was in first year. Anyways, in fourth year, we have like, these are like, on my screen, I have the different optional modules you get to choose four. Because um, in fourth year, you only have one compulsory, which is like 
project economics and management and then you have four optional modules and i think the whole point of fourth year is that you're supposed to tailor it to which side of like sector or discipline of engineering you kind of want to go to there's like the geotechnical geology side there's structural engineering there's marine time coastal that type of engineering there's transportation and there's energy sustainability and resources type and so i was thinking mm, I don't know which one I want to go to, but I know I'm going to choose structural engineering. I do like structures, do like bridges. My individual project was about a bridge. My de design project was about a bridge. I'm going to do structures. But I think it's kind of important to try the energy and sustainability route since it's like the climate and it's like 2021 and you know, it's important. So yeah, that's all my, um, what's the word? That's all the update of what I've been doing. Um, so now it's currently Monday and I'm working for her to finish because it's like in the evening time. Anyways, so now I think what I'm doing, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to film some vlogs about my internships, answer any questions you have, some vlogs, the day in the life, what I do, the different sectors in engineering so you guys can know. Because I actually find, sometimes when people ask me what do civil engineers do, I think, mm, I don't know, like it's so damn confusing. Sometimes when I see people working, I'm like, you're project managing, like you're overseeing stuff, but are you actually like using like civil engineering technical knowledge? I can't explain it. I can't explain it. There's some companies that like like technical, like you can work for geo. Uh, what's the word? You could work for a geotechnical company and you'd actually apply everything you've learned in these modules. Like you'd be doing like, um, you'd be working on free, which is a geo type software. You'd be doing like stress analysis on drain drain conditions or you could do like other stuff where it's like it's still civil engineering but you're like project managing like you're overseeing like a construction site so you don't really ever really get to apply okay but i'm not sure what i'm offering either way i'm gonna let you know once i find out what actual civil engineers do um thank you so much for people who are still like commenting and liking my posts like my youtube stuff um i'm sorry that it's been slow I don't know, I felt like disconnected. And when I feel disconnected from YouTube, I can't, I don't like putting videos because you can just tell, you can tell, and it's just, ugh. Anyways, I feel way more energized. I kind of want to get, I'm going to set my target again, like, what's in July? Three, four videos. Mm, can I get, I, I want to set a target again, four videos <laughs> up on my channel for the month of July. And then August, we'll see what it's saying. And then, you know, when I start fourth year. But like, thank you so much for all the love and the support. Third year almost killed me, but I came out with the first. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.